So we need to be able to find any of the six trig functions of standard angles. And the standard angles are our angles on the unit circle, both in degrees or radians. So for the cotangent of 420 degrees, I'm going to find a coterminal angle to that by subtracting 360 degrees. And so I'm going to figure out what the cotangent of 60 degrees is, and that'll be the same as the cotangent of 420 degrees. So I'm going to think of the unit circle and 60 degrees because that is a loop plus another 60. So let's go ahead and put our unit circle values on there. As I'm looking at this one, this is littler x, bigger y. So this is going to be 1 half and square root 3 over 2 for those values. And now I'm after cotangent. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Tangent is the sine of the angle over cosine. So when we flip that over, we want cosine, which is the x value divided by the sine value, which is square root 3 over 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify that. So we'll flip the bottom one over and multiply it here. And the 2's will cancel, so it looks like my answer is 1 over square root 3. You can rationalize that, but there's no need to. All right, for cosecant, we're 5 pi 6. And so as I think about where 5 pi 6 is, 5 pi 6 is over here in quadrant 2. And my unit circle values, we've got larger x, smaller y, except that x's are negative. So that'd be negative square root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Now I need the cosecant. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Sine is 1 half, so cosecant is 2.